Fuck It Friday B's and G's. Um, apologize for the dog that's barking upstairs. I kind of have that every week. I guess I should just blanket statement from now on. Please excuse the dog and the little effers and anything else that you find mildly dis that you mildly disapprove of. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna be quick with this because I've got some extra footage that will tack on. Um, to this, some beer reviewing and sampling um, that I did this week with a uh, Mr. Main Brew guy, Gary, who was down here picking up his SJ Poor beers. So, um, yeah, very, uh, very. Gary came down and grabbed uh, his box, and of course, he had a leaker when he got home, so had to ship him out another uh, another bottle, but that's why we've got extras on deck. So, uh, let's see, all of the boxes in my charge have scooter-rooed um, out of here. So we've got some that are, some little birds making their northern migration um, up to uh, up to Canada, and so those are going to take the longest. Everybody else here in the um, northeast should be seeing theirs by Monday. Um, there are two folks who are in Pennsylvania and Ohio. Um, Ohio is Wednesday, and Pennsylvania, I believe, is Tuesday. So, sorry guys, couldn't get them any quicker out that way, but um, hoping that we can get them there into your hands pretty quick uh, so you know just let me know if there's any issues I'm not even sure if they actually watch this channel so everyone else can tell them um, let's see what we got we got this if it didn't yeah it didn't remix itself um, just some smoke and dagger black lager from Jack's Abbey and then Raging bitch. Um, yeah, raging, raging bitch from Flying Dog. On top, um, this is sorely needed. Cheers, happy fucking Friday. Well, let's see. Um, as far as brewing goes, I'm not doing anything right now. Um, I'm about to. While well, while Gary was here, we actually um, we sampled a few of the experimental meads. Um, so my, um, the Peco, Pico, whatever the hell, however you pronounce the hops, um, in my, my boy Nate's honor and Elder's honor, I'm still calling them Pico, I don't give a shit. Um, so that is close to going out. I've got something I want to do with that, um, and I want to give it, I'll give it like another month. I was going to pull it this month. October is totally fine to have this thing sitting around for a little bit. So that's good to go. We tried the 644 mead. That's going into bottles because that's ready. That's absolutely primed and pumped and ready to go. Um, so I'm pretty, pretty freaking stoked about that. Uh, we tried this. This is not one of the experimental meads. This is the 644 lag, um, the summer lag with um, pitched on top of the 644 yeast bay and um, what was the oh the um, the creature comforts. I think that was which I yeah the creature comforts. Um, Brett, bottle drags. It smells, it smells absolutely unreal. Um, this is one of those beers, though, that when you smell it, it does not follow in the taste. Um, it's super punchy, like, fruity on the nose. And my, I've kind of got a little bit of a stuffiness. Um, it, you get absolutely get some pineapple on the nose but then when you sip it 
there's grains of paradise and lemon peel in here so you get this like really um, really spicy and there's a ton of herbalness in this thing I mean there's like mint and um, thyme basically with all that fruit so it's a very odd combo in in that because um, fruit I mean I like fruit and spice together you know fruit and herb together um, Peaches is an herb oh hey we both are so excited It's just if you don't expect it on the nose, you know, because the nose smells really fruity, you don't expect it when you sip it. So, yeah, there's a little bit of funk, too, on the um, sort of a little, I don't know if I want to call it hay, um, but there is like a little bit of funkiness on the uh, on the flavor. It's, I like it a lot, actually. Um, it's not the traditional summer lag by any means, um, but that beer, I've been going back and forth with that beer for forever, and so, you know, I decided why not try, and so we'll step out, you know, take a little step. Yeah, I'll drink it. be hard-pressed to find something that I've made that I won't drink, just because I'm too cheap and I don't want to chuck shit down the sink over there. Um... Other than that, I think that's pretty much where we're at right now. Um, I've got full kegs and, you know, a bunch of shit going on that I don't really know if I have time to brew. I want to, um, but, you know, do I need to? Probably not. Need and want are two, two, two very different things. So, I don't know. I don't really need to brew. Um, I've got reviews to do like crazy, starting now with SJ Poor, um, about to ramp up, and some beautiful beers from Carlisle. Um, so I think I'm I'm pretty pretty well stocked right now. Other than that, that's it. I'm not. It's it's post work Friday. And my brain is kind of melted into my right here. So, um, yeah. A couple more of those and then I'll be... Um, yeah. So I hope you guys have a great fucking week. Uh, footage, we're tasting Curio. Um... Or Curio from Allagash uh, on the video. So I'm just going to cut that in. I'll put that as the as the way out. Um, I think I said goodbye in that video, but I'll say goodbye in this one anyway. So I hope you guys have a really great fucking weekend. Happy Fuck It Friday. Here's to your midget sex wings, balloons, pours out of second story windows. And whatever the hell you fucking crazy people are doing. Cars. Like windscreen washers and shit. Jesus Christ. Um, y'all are, y'all are nuts. Crazy nuts. Awesome. Love it. Alright. Hope you guys have a really great fucking weekend. I will see you next week. Possibly with, I don't know, something else going on. Enjoy your weekends. Peace. So... Hey, Cheers, man. Thanks hey. for coming. Yeah. Awesome. I know. So, it's up, B's and G's. Uh, Gary stopped by to pick up some SJ4 beers. So, if you guys haven't... Well, hey, well, you've already signed up. So, actually, it's me. So, if I haven't shipped your stuff out, I apologize. But I do have until next week. So, you have to take your time. You're not close enough as Gary is, so you can't come and get them. If you want to, you absolutely can. Just let me know that you're coming. And if you Sorry. are, bring beer. I think we have something that we're going to review, yeah? Yeah, it's a curio. I've had it before. You, have you had this? I haven't had it. Yeah, it's um, Allagash Brewing. It's a curio, barrel-aged. Um, it's in this, bourbon barrel. Sorry, my camera keeps messing up here. So let's... The second that you say...
barrel. <laughs> you had me at barrel. You had me at barrel. <laughs> so it's 11% um, bottle age, I mean barrel age rather, and, uh, and, and oak barrels. I can't remember the whole... Um, I know, alright, so here's the one thing that I do, because I do, I've read the label, I think. Yep. It's Jim Beam barrels, if I'm not mistaken. I think it is Jim Beam. And they take, they take the barrel age triple and then put it back into a clean triple. So it's like a blend, right? So they, yes. I think they blew two, they brew two triples and then they blend barrel age back into a clean version. And I don't know if they rotate around and they keep going. I think I think but, they do because I've been to Allagash a couple of times and they have talked about Curio, but that was a few years ago. But I vaguely remember that conversation happening. Yep. I do know it's bottle conditioned, um, or at least part of it's bottle conditioned because there's always a little right. bit of sediment in these bottles. Are you going to so. save it and wash it? No. Because a lot of times with these triples and quads, um, it's not the same yeast. That they used to ferment it with? Right. I don't know. That that three taverns triple that I had from my nephew that brought up from Georgia, from Decatur, that thing, it, the yeast, I made a starter. I pulled it off and kind of built it up. It smells exactly like the beer that we had. It's good. beautiful. Yeah, so, it's, yeah, I guess you'd have to really check with... Um, with, uh, Everybody's going to be different. Different. So, like, I'm going to be doing a quad, and it's going in a oak barrel, but it's uh, it, it, um, wine aged barrel that I've done a couple of wine, uh, some, some reds in. So, um, but uh, I'm going to finish that off with I think 099. So it's going to go in with a Belgian uh, high gravity yeast, but then I'll finish it off with 099 to really make it crisp. So it's a different yeast. That's, and that's awesome. Yeah. Barrel aid, like barrel, barrel wine, barrel aid. Right, I know. I, oh that, man! That, so I did a merlot, two merlots in a uh, a malbec uh, in that barrel. So it's done for for wines basically. It, I think I've pulled enough oak out of yeah. it that it's not going to net me much. So anyway, sweet. Let's, yeah. So that's my next project. That's awesome. So I'm a little tired. Last night I decided to start brewing beer at 4 p.m. So I didn't oh, get no. done until 11.30 at what night. Did you, what did you brew I, last I night? I re-brewed Black Betty because it's such a favorite yep. at my house. It goes so quickly. And uh, it's football season now here <laughs> in the U.S. <laughs> and American God. football. So, Thank um, God. Let me get the pour. No, you pour yourself. No, no, that's not good. I should be pouring. You're the guest. Doesn't the guest pour? I don't eh. know. In our house, I guess it's catch his catch can, right? <laughs> <laughs> so... Anyway, I'm just down here. Um, I work down here sometimes, and uh, just so happens Dan's in the area, so we can hook up more often. Yeah, this thing is just full of aroma and body. But this wow. is one of the ones I want to send to Kevin, but I'm not sure if Kevin already got to this. Is he? Other. Yeah, this thing is just. It's not a review unless I stick my nose or my. Oh yeah, right in it. Super carbonated. It really is. Yeah. You know, if you had Spencer, did we talk about this before? No. Right. Okay. Yeah. That's what we said that the other day, right? Um, what's crazy about that Spencer too is every bottle is like you take your life into your hands when you drink that thing because it. I mean, it, the second you pop it, it almost explodes. And this has got that super Spencer y character. Sorry, I went in for the kill already. No, please. I, I takes it take, you've seen it takes me a long time I apologize there's a lot of chewing that goes on mm -hmm. oh, I know I, I'm just, there's so many there's so many subtle I'm getting even some pepper in there too mm -hmm. um, vanilla like yeah. a lot of vanilla Hints of licorice, but not. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. But not not enough to really kind of throw you off. But it's really estery. I mean, there's like mm -hmm. a lot of yeast going on in this. Oh yeah, it's got the typical, uh, you know, the Belgian aromas and esters that throw off from the yeast. All right, I've dipped my nose, my lip in it like twice now. I'm gonna take a sip. Yeah. Cheers, man. Yeah, cheers. Thank you Sorry. for this. Oh yeah. Cheers, Cheers. I forgot to say it's up either. Sorry, I forgot about that. <laughs> I think you did. Mm -hmm. I think you did when you first turned the camera on. 
It's a piece of cheese. I will. No, oh, if I did, then I'll. <laughs> I said it again. Get all gangsta. <laughs> <clears throat> So it's so, yeah. Go ahead. Super bubble gum. Yeah. Right there. But it's not like, well, you know what it is? It's that um, that really hard stick of gum that comes in baseball cards. You know that the like bazooka. the. It's like bazooka. It's kind of like a bazooka gum. Yeah. Right, but it's like, it's weird because you know you get like, when you get some gum that's actually chewy, like the. Whatever the the was it the glycerin I guess that they put in there gives it like a total a total like oily feel, whereas like that really hard gum feels like it's like that powder and yeah. that dryness like I'm getting that super dry powdery gum, oh, which I think you. It, you know what I mean, yep. which is different than like a juicy like a juicy fruit or a mm-hmm. hubba bubba or like you know those no, but chewy chewy gums. Yeah, I think the part of it is the mouthfeel feel is rich, but mm-hmm. it's got a dry finish. Mm-hmm. It's really smooth. Yeah, it is. Just for eleven percent, ever so slight, lingering heat, but I, well, very. That's very where I was just about to go, right? I mean, for eleven percent, it's not no. super heavy, like no. super heaty, or no. I mean, I'm not getting. No, but if you let it set for a bit, I make bet. It, it could just be me because I think. No, I bet you. My throat is a little dry. No, I, I bet you. This is one of those like. I'm getting it right now on the sides of my tongue. It's sneaky because I would sit down with that bottle, drink it, and just be like, oh, that was nothing. That was so, yeah. you know, I was good. I want another one. And now oh, there's nothing in it 11%. I think they're wrong. And then, like, halfway through the next one, I found myself, like, with no pants on. <laughs> my shoes are gone. <laughs> that has never happened. Never. Not bad. Yeah, it's um. What was this one? Uh, wow, there's something there that I'm. It's. This is Usually there's a date, but it's been in my cooler all day, so it could have. Could have washed off. Could have washed off. God, what is that? It's coconut. I'm thinking coconut. There's that. Yeah. Actually, and that's from the rum barrels of the uh, bourbon. The Jim Beam. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's very faint. With the vanilla. Totally above, vanilla. Above you know what's, gum. Yeah, you know what's crazy? The bourbon. I think I was saying this like last year for the SJ Four, like last year's SJ Four, because there was a lot of bourbon barrel stuff. Yeah. And like I have that issue with like bourbon aged anything where it's a beer it's not it's not a it's a beer with bourbon in it yeah you know what I mean yeah. as opposed to beer that's got a that's got like some bourbon some paint. right you know what I mean yeah. it's you it's not a punch in the face like this is bourbon yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't appreciate beers that are like bourbon I'm yep if it's going to impart that much, then cut it and do it again. You know? Right, exactly. Well, that's blend probably it. what they do. <laughs> that's why they, probably why they blend it, because yeah. it's too much. God, it's got just a gorgeous nose. But it's, and you know, it's really non It's like kind of nondescript in that it's. Yeah, you know, there's a lot there. It's unassuming, I guess. Maybe that's, that's the word that I'm looking very for. Subtle, they're very subtle. They're very. All of those. Esters and notes, what you pick up, are all even. Yeah, there's no And they're all competing yep. evenly. Yep. So it's really hard to like single out, but you can start to single out a little bit. And I think it might improve. You might be able to distinguish those things as, as it warms up. up. I yeah. guarantee. I bet you you're right. And that's it. That was the way to. I was not I was struggling with words, and that was the right word. To, <laughs> that was the right way to put it. Yeah. You know, it's just. Okay. So, I don't know. I've been letting this warm up. So we, sorry if you see a jump cut. It's because I kind of we got Gabby, Gabby, and then um, I mean we were letting it warm up. I mean let's be perfectly honest that we weren't we weren't just sitting here bullshitting and ran out of you know forgot we were recording. We were letting it warm up. So science. 
after it did, it got super vanilla. -y. The bourbon is coming out like, actually, is now coming out. Oh, big time. Big time. Yeah. For I mean, just now I hit knows. and it was like bourbon, massive knows. bourbon. Yeah. 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 A little bit of rye, like that kind of spicy rye, yep. almost. Yep. But spicy, peppery, almost. Yeah, it's almost super, saisony, like saisony. Yeah. <laughs> Say Sony, hey, whatever. <laughs> Isn't that an eighty song? <laughs> yeah, it's super. It's like super rye right now, and as I'm getting like bourbon and oh, it's gorgeous though. Yeah. I mean, it's a beautiful beer. I like. I'm it's crushing on this. Thing. Yeah, I, you know, it's complex. It, you know, you want you want the beer to be a certain way. Drink it cold. You want a, a, a new beer. Let it warm up. Yeah, I mean, it's got legs all day long. Yeah, it, well, that lacing. <laughs> There's the boom. <laughs> crazy. Crazy. Come on. Come on, the lazy. Anyway. Sorry, take some advice. Uh, yeah, this thing is awesome. Dude, thanks for thanks for sharing this, man. Oh, man. This My is pleasure. Awesome. So, it's all about that, right? Great absolutely. beers and good company. Good fucking dudes and good fucking beer. Yeah. All right, I'm going to sign off. I'm going to cut this out because I'm running out of space. So, Me too. Gary is... Check them out in the description. Main Brew Guy, again, you got here because you were already watching him, so you already know where, you, where you've where you come from. So, absolutely. Be modest. So, all right. Absolutely. So, I will see you guys. If I put this out on Wednesday, I put it out on Wednesday. If I put it out as part of my Friday video, happy Fuck It Friday. Hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Peace. I'll do my cutout. Oh, wait. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put that at the end. At the end. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about?